separate at the tail end of last year to join up with Supercars Club Arabia and Del Monia. So we'll be catching up with the tour at Yas Marina and then I'll be joining the final leg. But these guys are about to go ahead over and catch up with them. I've got a little bit of a kind of unplanned day around Dubai because I've got some other stuff going on here. But just to take a quick look, because naturally I have found a line of supercars. That seems to happen just about everywhere. So we've got Viper, 488 Spider, Speciale Hurricane and another Speciale 2. But today I think I'm just going to go explore around Dubai, see basically what I find and what goes on. I don't really know. Let's just discover because this city is always, always crazy. after the cars have departed, I'm on to my next stop. This is the showroom of Tamini Classics, a dealership and collection where basically every car inside is fully restored and refurbished to the top, top level. Now I've been meaning to come by and take a look for a while, but I haven't quite made it, but I'm here today. Let's go inside and take a look around. Firstly then, this is a lovely showroom, and this is gonna be a true test for me of knowledge and how well I can remember what every car in here is because we've got a lot from Ferraris, Aston Martins, Maseratis, a De Tomaso, uh, Lamborghinis, um, an XJC20 over there. Obviously I know the more modern stuff but let's sort of come through. I particularly like this. This is the Fiat Bath 750 Zagato. I think it's a quite cool but quirky looking thing. Then we've got the Ferrari 512M. Beyond that we've got the uh, Testarossa and I've just been learning actually how to tell the difference between a Testarossa and a 512TR which is something I've always wondered about and the big thing is the shape of the grille. The uh, Testarossa sort of has this kind of whole open grille whereas the TR has a more shaped um, curvature to it on the front bumper. Then we've got a 308, we've got a uh, Lamborghini 350 GT which is quite a nice dark green but obviously it's bright sunlight outside even though it's quite windy. Then we've got a recreation of a Ferrari 330 P4. Jim Glickenhouse has a real one. The XJ220. And it's crazy, when you look at the rear here, look at the sort of aero under the floor there on the XJ220. It's completely sort of hollowed through. Crazy thing. Then we've got a 930 Turbo. Ferrari 612 Scaglietti. Behind that, a uh, 365 pair of Lamborghini Uramas, the silver and blue cars. Ferrari Dino, uh, oh gosh, brain block. Dino 308 GT4, quirky thing. Toyota 2000 GT, that looks like a lot of fun. Porsche 356B, the De Tomaso. A trio of old Maseratis. Now I've just been sort of learning a little bit about these. This is the Maserati Indy, then we've got the Merak, then we've got the Ghibli. But these were sort of well, all the cars with V8s rather than the sort of V12s that everybody else was going for at the time. Vantage convertible, one of the sort of earliest of 911s, 1965, when it changed from the 901 to 911. Then we've got a 456 and a Ferrari 550. And finally, the Mercedes 280 SE. So all of these cars are sort of completely fully restored. Well, as you can see, they are basically in absolute tip-top shape. Um, beautiful examples. It's nice to come down and have a look around, around the showroom. But if I was gonna have one, I do love that 750R bath over there. I think it's just cool, 750cc engine. XJ220 looks nice in the corner though. Yeah, nice little collection at Tamini Classics. I've been taking a look around Tamini with Walid, who knows a little bit more about this stuff than I do. You're making videos in Arabic. Yeah. What's your favorite car in here? Let's say that everything is close to my heart, but let's look at the rock solid 911. Yeah. It's been the 911, it's staying the 911, and it's, it's continuing to be the 911. 
So it's the car that's going, this, this, the, the prices are going sky high these days. It's, um, it's, it's just amazing how, how they didn't lose the identity. It's still the it same It hasn't car. changed. Same setup, same sort of engine style. Yeah, same layout of the engine. And uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with, with the progress of the company from a small company to a big company right now. But frankly speaking, if you're looking at all these things, it's, it's a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of special cars in here and everyone is beautifully presented. That's the thing I'm, I'm really enjoying looking at. Exactly. Every car is in brilliant condition. Yeah. From classics to supercars then, one extreme to the other. Alain Class, you've seen it before on my videos. The old dealership, also the new dealership, but inside it is literally modern supercar heaven. So we've seen sort of the most pristine, restored older cars, but in here is where you come if you're in Dubai or the UAE and you want to find the selection of all of the latest and greatest. Let's head inside and have a look. Every trip to Dubai should involve a visit here. And you can see why straight away with the two 918 Spiders up there uh, to the left and the Carrera GT behind. We've got a 488, we've got an Aventador Roadster, Orange GT3 RS. And then we've got a Lexus LFA. I've seen this car here before, but I really like it. Always have had a soft spot for the LFAs. Past the white 918, um, white or silver. I like the red seats in the white one, but I'd probably take Carrera GT. Uh, Ford GT, another GT3 RS coming through. Yellow F12 TDF, a Mansory Stallone. So one of the Mansory sort of full body conversions on the Ferrari 599 GTB. Um, I actually went in a Mansory Stallone a long, long time ago. Spectacular sounding machine. It was at Top Marks in Monaco. Look at the exhaust in the center. They just sit, sort of fitted a new system that has that one sort of massive central exhaust system. Then we have a LaFerrari. Is that even an Aperta? Maybe? No, just a regular LaFerrari. SLR, a Sapphire Blue GT4 at the back, that's familiar. Bentley Continental um, S, presumably an S63. Uh, Cabriolet. Another 488 here, which actually I'm going to come back to. It has the sort of striping on it, a bit like the um, 458 Speciale. I like how that looks a lot. And then the other side, Aston Martin at La Gonda Taraf, with a very sort of pearlescent paint that you can see in here. But Aston's limited sort of luxury. I, I, I love this thing. It's expensive and perhaps a little bit silly. But I think it looks. Yeah, it looks cool. Just makes a statement. There we've got Bentayga, uh, Wraith, and two Dawns. Yes. Come through the back. Another 488, popular in here. 650S Spider. The SLS Black Series. Again, another car I've seen here before. But always a good one. And Veyron in blue and blue. A very MSO'd 675LT, so this was here last time as well. In the satin chicane grey with gloss carbon and the McLaren orange accents all over it. And the roof scoop. This literally must be one of the most MSO'd cars ever to come out of. Oh, GTR just going past. Out of the McLaren factory. And a special one. One of my favourite cars ever. The Koenigsegg CCXR special one. This is. Well, cool. It's basically sat here for the last well, six years, maybe. But it's still awesome. And then GT2 RS. So no shortage. Oh, that was a 458 Spider just going past. No shortage of very, very, very nice cars, as you, as usual, in the Alain Class showroom. I've come for a look around the Alawir sort of used car lot where basically you have supercar dealer after supercar dealer after supercar dealer. And I did a previous video when I was out here last time kind of showing you what there was to see and not too much has changed. So just quickly, there are two McLaren P1s here inside GTR Motors, a normal car and the Carbon Series as well. But do check out my previous video to see kind of everything that I found when I was exploring the dealerships of Dubai. So today has basically been classic cars versus supercars. Tamini Classic 
classics with some pretty nice older machinery on display and then Alain class for all the modern stuff the sort of very latest and greatest I think it's quite interesting to see the difference and think about well whether you prefer classics or supercars which way it would go but really supercars are coming quite common almost there are so many limited editions and special editions but I think there's something a little bit more special almost about something classic something older especially something that's restored and brought back to its former glory Mercedes 4x4 squared at the Dubai Mall 570s over there Do we have any other cars we've got another 488 tucked in just there there's kind of a valet area always nice cars around here 458 Italia there Ah, it's the Dubai Police 570S, I hadn't even realised. With its lights on as well. How cool. A Corvette. And a Viper. Oh, he's turned off. Well, it's been quite a funny day for Dubai, especially now that the sun has gone in. It's really rather chilly. There's quite a lot of wind as well, but I never thought I'd come to Dubai and tell you that I am cold. But that is the truth. It's been a funny day. We've just been exploring a little bit around some of the valets. So we've come now to City Walk, where I'd hoped I'd see some stuff, but unfortunately not this time. Um, they've just expanded this place hugely, so it now goes way, way, way into the distance. And I don't really know where the new sort of valet areas are or whatnot. But this is where, when I came a few months ago, we finished with the Lamborghini Owners National Day Tour, which was a lot of fun as well. Um, so we've seen some cool stuff, I suppose. Been to Tamini and across to Alain Class as well. But this is just day one. I've got a lot more planned coming up over the next couple of days or so. So stay tuned for that content. Can't wait to share it all with you then. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the look around. And I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.